So as far as I'm concerned, when you have anything that is working fine, you'll be so proud to talk about it and show people how effective it is. For this company, this is what they have done concerning their poultry disinfectant. Not only poultry disinfectant, but then it's something that you poultry farmers can apply to your poultry farm. And would I call it the best poultry disinfectant? Okay, wait, let's see what it can do. All right, so welcome back to DIY Agri, your number one animal scientist and your poultry success partner. This should be the first video of the year 2022. A couple of weeks ago, I talked about the organic poultry course that uh, you can take advantage of, and I actually gave a discount. People have been calling and sending messages trying to um, persuade me to extend the discount to January. And you know what? I'm going to start this year with that. You can just take advantage of the discount. I'm going to be showing you how to do that in the description below. You can take advantage of it before we start our poultry school. Yeah, the school of poultry. A couple of weeks ago also, I talked about that poultry school and it's going to be starting in February. So you can take advantage of this course before that school. It's There's so much to learn in this year, 2022. What is the name of this disinfectant? <clears throat> Yeah, it's called the Vacon S. The Vacon S, the company that makes uh, these, they are so confident in what they are doing that they have a list of all the poultry diseases and even other livestock diseases that this can take care of. Imagine if your farm has been attacked by uh, avian influenza, something that is actually ravaging lots of poultry farms in some parts of Nigeria and other parts of the world. Imagine you've been a victim of that and you have gotten rid of all those birds and you know, you just want a fresh start like I always talk about. This can actually give you that fresh start. It is, should I say 100% now or 99%, 99.9% sure to get rid of the pathogen from your farm. I'm going to be showing you a list of all the things that this can undo actually. Okay, where is that on this paper? Yeah, I'm going to be showing you this leaflet. You know, I have here yeah, all manner of bacteria diseases, uh, viral diseases, avian influenza, virus, avian laryngotrachisis, virus, you know, all manner. It's just so good. And I'm going to be showing you in this video, you can see my noilers are still available here. Even the Brahma, the Brahma got injured some, some weeks ago. I had to hide it inside the, uh, inside a big carton and took care of the leg. And I think She's getting much better now. A dog actually beat the leg, so she's much better now. And I still have my talkies here. But back to the disinfectant. How do we use this? This is so good. This is so good. I'm going to be using this just to ensure that you guys see all that um, I'll be showing you. Uh, but you need something to spray it. Like I have been showing before, I have this spray uh, container. I have the Inco pressure washer i'm going to show you uh on the screen and um, what you just need to do it comes in a in a, this one i got is just about a hundred dollars i will leave the link to purchase it on um uh, in my description it's just about a hundred dollars and um, it comes in a powder form the powder is not so good on your skin so you don't want it to touch your skin but when you dissolve it I think you it can touch you, but then just wear your protective uh, gear. All right, so it comes in a powder form and it's actually one to a hundred percent ratio. That is one gram to hundred mils of water. One gram is equivalent to one mil. So you measure one gram into hundred mils of water and then 10 grams into a thousand mils, which is one liter. What I have here is about one liter. And what I have here is about 10 grams. So to mix this, actually, you need something like a sterile. I don't have that here. I'm not prepared for that. But this thing quite uh, dissolves well. And since I have space in this jar, I'll be able to shake it a little. So this is 10 grams to 1 liter. Don't forget the ratio is 1 to 100. And 1 gram is equivalent to 1 mil. So this is 1,000 mil and 10 mils. So I'll just put this 10 grams into it. You can see it dissolving quite okay. So if you have a stirrer, just stir it a little. Don't stir it too much. You just stir it a little with a stirrer. And then you leave 
it to dissolve completely. I wish I had a stir. Uh, oh, that's a mess up on my part. Okay, so a stir, uh, then you leave it to dissolve completely for let's say five minutes or so. Then you come back to stir the rest. All right, so this is what you are going to apply into your sprayer. You apply it into your sprayer, you pour it there. If you are using the pressure washer, you put it in a part where you can get it uh, to to spray to be sprayed on all the come on get down where you can get to spray it on your poultry house and the contact time for this disinfectant is just 10 minutes 10 minutes so what you need to do is to get rid of all the livestock in on your in your, on your farm then you clean the place wash it with soap uh that's detergent you wash it with detergent and you raise it then you apply this like i said in my disinfection video you don't apply disinfectant on a dirty surface. So you must have cleaned the place with soap and um, water, rinse it up, and then apply this, allow it to stay for 10 minutes. 10 minutes is good enough contact time. That is the that is what the manufacturer says. And after 10 minutes, I tell you all diseases are gone. You can spray your, your poultry environment, everything, so that you have a fresh start, you know? That's what we all want. So this is actually, this the smell is, will I say pungent or something? So I want to cover it back. Okay. Oh, this guy is pecking me, come on. Okay, so I have it covered back and uh, this guy is still dissolving. Yeah, he's doing quite good. As you can, if you can see very well, you can see the particles dissolving real quick. Yeah, that's what you want to wait to see. You, you ensure that it dissolves completely. Yeah, when I come back with a sterile, I'll just make sure everything is fine. But all those things that looks like um, granules, it's all turning into uh, soluble powder and it's dissolving real quick. So, that's all we have. And then you can actually keep this, you can use it for up to seven days. For up to seven days, it's still active. So even if you mix more than you need, you can actually reuse it within seven days. But I actually advise you to mix just enough volume that you need. So don't mix excess of it so you, you don't waste it. You know, $800 is quite uh, a huge amount of money. But then if you look at the quantity, I think this is about, this is almost 5 kg. It's almost 5 kg and it's going to last uh, long, uh, as I can say. I've only taken 10 grams and I tell you, if I put this on my sprayer, okay, let me just say times six of this will do, can handle this place after washing, yeah. You know, you don't need to use it to wash the place. You just apply it. You just make sure it touches, touches every part of it. And once the place is dry, you can bring in your birds. That's the beauty of this. It's not about, it doesn't smell, it doesn't choke the birds. Once the place is dried up, after 10 minutes, let's say you now leave the place to dry up, you can start to put the place... <laughs> Come on, shut up. So you can start to use the place after it is dried. You don't want your best to come in when it's still there, when the wet disinfectant is still there on your farm. Because, come on, because it is poisonous. It is poisonous. But when it is dry, you can bring every one of them in and then start to use the place. But then one more thing is that you need to take out your drinkers and your feeders that have been disinfected with this and then wash them thoroughly again with soap and water. All right, so that's it about the disinfectant. I'm going to be leaving. Uh, I'm going to be leaving the link to where you can purchase it. You can click on the link and have it sent to you from the store. All right, so that's it, and I wish you all a fresh start. I wish you all a bounty harvest in this year, 2022. And you know, once again, I'm your number one animal scientist and your poultry success partner if you're yet to subscribe to the platform to the channel you better click on that subscribe button now and click the like button so the video can get to others so thank you and see you later